Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's adventure, I am taking you to St. Augustine, Florida. Let's do it. I am on my balcony at the beautiful Marriott Renaissance Resort in St. Augustine in uh, the historic district. It is total mayhem out here. If you are in the holiday mood and you want to get into it even more, this is the place to be. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You know what that is? That is the inside of the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Ooh. That is very cool. All right, this is beautiful. Nice little nook here. So this is a king room with a pavilion. So St. Augustine, especially if you've never been here, is a real walking city. Like you truly, if you can, stay in the historic district because there is so much to do here. There's so much to see. You just want to get out and just walk and just like, there's cafes, there's all these little tiny shops, there's all these sort of nooks and crannies that this is one of those places where it's hard to almost do research to see how much is actually here because there's so much going on that you just actually, when you land on the street, you're like, oh my God, I want to eat there. I want to see that place. Can we do this? Like this adorable store right here that I have to go in. So <laughs> there's literally like so much going on. And so you really want to just kind of take advantage of and give yourself the time to explore and don't plan too many things and just say we're just going to land there and explore the historic district there's so much more to it than you could ever imagine
everything about this town is like you just gotta get out get out of your hotel you gotta walk around explore there's so many fun things to do this is the bridge of lions right here this goes across to st augustine beach the lighthouse which is super famous and uh the gorgeous boats. So we're right on the water here. This is A1A. So this kind of goes up and down the coast of Florida, the east coast of Florida. So I am eating today at Harry's Bar and Grill. I actually have to eat at any place called Harry's because my dad's name is Harry and I love him. So love to eat at a Harry's whenever I see one. So far we have had a crab cake which is absolutely gorgeous. Crab cake is the quintessential Florida dish. It's got the remoulade sauce, it's got the nice brown crust around it, and this one is done perfectly. try to try all of them this one is super creepy super creepy loving it super weird where else are you gonna find this where else are you gonna find this where else are you gonna find the rack <laughs> honey you're getting a lot of ghosts okay so not only is this one billion percent one of the creepiest uh, museums ever. Is this not one of the creepiest museums ever? It's, it's really oh, creepy. Terrifying. But then you can also do ghost hunting on your phone as well. We have no idea how it works, so we're not quite sure if we're doing it right. Guaranteed we're not doing it right because he's seen a lot of ghosts on his phone apparently. This thing is huge and, and totally terrifying. But the thing that's the most terrifying is that this is all real. Right? Really happy to be living in the time we're living in. <laughs> and people are here with their kids, which is weird. Perfect family Thanksgiving week outing. Honey, don't sit on that. This is like really well done. Like this museum is pretty incredible, honestly. Like it's uh, um, intense and definitely not for children. Super creepy. If you're looking for something, really creepy to do, please leave the children at home. Definitely just going to induce lots of nightmares and therapy for a long time if you bring them along. But this place is pretty bonkers. <laughs>
Sunday, so I had to see my beloved Eagles play. They won. Thank you, Lord. Um, actually, and the Patriots won, so my fiance was okay as well. But we found the most epic sports bar. This place is called Augie's. St. Augustine Augie's. And they have something called a beer wall. And you basically just, they give you a card and then you pick from a billion beers that they have and pour them yourself. Watch the game. It's pretty amazing. So highly recommend this place. And they have one of the best sausage sandwiches ever. So love this place. You want to watch a game, they basically have everything you want here. guys I am doing something amazing something I have never done and I can't wait to do it I'm beside myself to do it I am going ghost hunting at the world's oldest Ripley's believe it or not museum in the dark let's do it okay this is one of the coolest things I've ever done if you like ghost hunting look at it. they give you an EMF reader and some kind of crazy laser thing. And then they set you loose and you can literally walk all over the most famous Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, the oldest one and apparently the most haunted um, by yourself. This is bonkers. And the lights are off. So there's a lot of ghost hunting going on right now, which I'm so here for it. Oh my god. But the ironic thing is, I haven't been here during the day, oh god, and I'm by myself. Um, and uh, yeah, half the time I can't see anything. So, what the fuck is that? Okay, sorry. Is it? Oh my god, I'm checking out so weird. Okay, so here's the thing. As if this place isn't weird or creepy enough during the day. We just heard like 500 ghost stories about how scary it is. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back where I think people are. I'm too scared. Oh my god, I'm such a wuss. Yes, I am. I'm such a... Oh. Amazing. Yeah, if I had like, first of all, there's so many mannequins in here. It's like being in here with like, like wax figures or something. These two people over here are taking pictures and they look so creepy. Okay, I'm gonna continue to look for ghosts. Okay, goodbye. Okay, that was amazing. I mean, look at this place. Are you kidding? Yes, ghost hunting, I said it. They allow you to come in here with a very small group. They give you equipment, you go ghost hunting. It's amazing, so much fun. <laughs> Just like, to be able to roam around there in the dark, I mean, seriously, like, I didn't need to see anything. If I saw something, I don't even know if I'd be smiling because I'd probably be, I'd probably would lose my mind. But, so that's the irony of me loving ghost huntings and, ghost huntings, ghost hauntings and things like that. I love it, but I don't actually ever want to see anything because I'll just freak out. There are some things in this world that I'm just like, as a tourist, I can't believe they allow you to do these things. Like, this place is like an unbelievably like historic, sacred place that has been around forever. It's a freaking castle. I mean, when it comes right down to it, it's just... The history here is beyond unbelievable. But the fact... First of all, there's Santa. Okay, so Santa's up there, so that's number one. But the fact that they let you go in there, in the dark, multiple floors, giving you ghost hunting EMF equipment, 
and they just let you roam on your own. I don't even know how long that was, half an hour, whatever. That was spectacular. If you like this stuff, which I love, you're gonna get to know this about me. The more you watch my videos, I am literally the world's largest nerd. I love this stuff. I don't know why, I can't tell you. It's just a natural organic occurrence. It's sickness, I don't know what, call it what you want. I love it. So that was super, super fun. Now, <laughs> this was amazing because I literally got no hits at all. Like literally I'm walking around, I'm like, uh, you know, I'll document and my thing goes off. If it turns red, if it turns red, you're in, you know, you're in good shape. You got a ghost or something, there's something going on. Nothing. Oh my God, this is so cool right here. Look at how cool this is. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? So literally, I'm in there. Nothing's happening. Nothing for me. My thing is is green. The, the numbers are at zero. There's nothing going on. And then finally, right towards the end, I'm like, oh my God. The thing starts lighting up. Starts going red. And I pull out my phone. And my phone is, you know, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to shoot it on my phone. It's my phone that's making it go off according to the tour guide. So there you have it. Okay, so I didn't get anything <laughs> per se. I'm just saying. major shout out to the Renaissance Marriott in the historic district of St. Augustine. This place, I mean, it's a Christmas paradise. If you want to live for a day or two in the haven of St. Augustine Christmas, <laughs> this is the place. I was like, at one point, I'm up on my balcony, which is right there, gorgeous, fabulous. And I'm like, why are pictures, why are, I didn't, it didn't even recognize it. I was like, why are people taking pictures? Of my balcony because it's Christmas heaven it's perfect so it's so fun it just puts you in the spirit of everything and I know it's like it's Florida but there's so much going on here to make up for the fact that it's not snowing <laughs> and I'll tell you what no one's doing it better than the Marriott at this point it's fantastic so highly highly recommend this place the prices are really great it's super comfortable it's very clean absolutely beautiful and um you know you just you can't go wrong with how lovely and comfortable it is you know it's not your typical b&b it's an actual marriott it's big enough and very comfortable like if you wanted to come here with your whole family it would be a great great option but um i'm really impressed i would absolutely stay here again and it is so perfectly located all right you guys so this has been an epic christmas adventure here in saint augustine I highly recommend this as a Christmas des destination for at least a day or two to come and enjoy probably one of the greatest cities at Christmas time in Florida, hands down. If you want to get into the spirit of Christmas, you want to have some great food, you want to go ghost hunting, who knew? Christmas ghost hunting. You got to come to St. Augustine. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you soon.